This is Colin O'Keefe checking in with Thursday's episode of LXPN TV. There isn't a bigger hot button legal issue in the country right now than hydraulic fracturing, and California lawmakers are currently making a strong push to ban the practice until we know more about it. Joining me to explain what's happening in the Golden State is Michael Mills, partner in Stoll Reeves Sacramento office and also author on the California Environmental Law Blog. Mike, first, can you explain what exactly is happening there in Sacramento? What's being put forth by California lawmakers? Well, right now there are five bills pending in the California legislature. There are two in the California Senate, three in the California Assembly. They all originate from Southern California uh, legislators. One of the bills concerns the disposal of wastewater that is produced uh, from hydraulic fracturing. And then there are actually four that would institute bans or moratoriums depending on different circumstances. One of those is pending in the Senate. It's probably the most publicized bill by Senator Fran Pavley. She is the sponsor. It would not institute an outright ban. Instead, it would establish a permitting scheme specifically applicable to hydraulic fracturing. And it would permit hydraulic fracturing to occur until January 1st, 2015, at which point then it would be banned. And it would require an agency, multi-agency study to examine the impacts of fracking and uh, hydraulic fracturing would be banned until that study was completed and peer reviewed. Um, it is probably the most forgiving of all the, the bills in the legislature to industry. And then there are three bills pending in the assembly that are much uh, harsher in terms of placing immediate moratoriums on hydraulic fracturing. I see, so put on your, your prediction cap for a second here. Which way do you see these things going? Are any of these bills going to get through in their current form? Uh, what's the most likely outcome here? Based on what I've read and, and what I've heard coming out of the legislature, I think it is very, very likely that one of the bills will be passed. I don't think that you will have any one of these bills in their current form being passed. And as I mentioned previously, one was just amended yesterday. I think over the next several weeks, you're going to see a number of amendments occur. And I think ultimately the bill that will emerge will probably be one more like Senator Pavley's bill. And I'm certain that that will get passed, a bill like that, because we have a Democratic supermajority in our state legislature. The Democrats want to see hydraulic fracturing regulated in California. And, and there's a sense, especially in the media, that the public wants to have hydraulic fracturing regulated. So I think you'll see a bill passed. And then I think the real question is going to become whether the governor signs such a bill. And I think that will really depend on uh, what occurs over the next several months and what happens with the draft regulations that the Department of Conservation and the Division of Oil, Gas, and Geothermal Resources are currently developing. And I think whether the governor believes those regulations will be sufficient will inform his decision as to whether or not he signs one of these bills. I see. The, the common complaint uh, surrounding hydraulic fracturing is that we don't know enough about it and that uh, regulation simply can't keep up with industry. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this plays out in California, particularly because many of these bills uh, include provisions that require finding out more about the practice. Uh, once again, that was Michael Mills of Stoll Reeves. For more of his insight on this subject, be sure to visit CaliforniaEnvironmentalBlogBlog.com. And, of course, visit us at LXPN.com, where we have literally hundreds more of these LXPN TV interviews on a number of different subjects, along with curated commentary from the LexBlog Network's more than 8,000 members. Thanks for joining us today, Mike. Thank you.